when you have a separate machine room like this, they're going to have a three-phase feed to the elevator motor, whether it's a hydraulic pump for a hydraulic elevator or whether it's a traction elevator and it's a three-phase motor. But there's one big, usually fuse disconnect feed to this elevator. So I'm going to show that with a motor connection. So let's go down to my electrical fixtures. So I want this ER motor connection, drag it in. And you can see the symbol I have is a little motor symbol with a fuse disconnect. So what I do here is this is an equipment connection. It's just a symbol, but it has a power connector. So there's no 3D associated with this. This is just a symbol. I like to assign some voltage and load to this when I enter it, even if I have to change it later. So I'm going to create a separate type for each motor connection because the type contains this, this information. It contains what classification it is, how many phases it is, its voltage, its load. So that has to be separate for each kind of piece of equipment. So load classification, I'm going to further classify this motor as an elevator and it's going to use the elevator demand factor it's three phase and it is 208 elevators have not just a horsepower rating but they typically have running load amps and then an accelerating amps and things like that so i'm going to base this off the accelerating worst case amps of 55 amps if i don't know how many va that is i can insert a formula in here so i can just type equals like a spreadsheet equals 55 amps times well 208 three phase is 208 times square root of three, which ends up being 120 volts times three or 360. So 360 is the magic number for 208 three phase. So 55 times 360 will give me the VA. It's almost 20,000 VA, 20 kilowatts. And then down here, I'm going to call this ELEV-1 for elevator one. And I can put a description for myself and call it the elevator. And then also I want to make sure my type is renamed properly. I'll rename this first one and in the future I need to duplicate it first and then rename it. So let's rename this one as elevator one also. That is just how it's going to show up in my list over here on the left. And then this is how it's going to show up when I tag it. So, okay. And then I can actually tag this up here to tag by category. It has a leader, which I like. So then I can just hit that and it tags it there. And then I can take this and move it around where I want. Kind of like a room name, elevator one.